What's the sweet spot between a hybrid and electric vehicle? Something both Tesla and Toyota are trying to compete against. As it turns out, one startup by the name of Li Auto probably has the answer to this. Li Auto is a company out of mainland China commercializing an extended range electric vehicle. This is a brand new type of topology that we haven't really seen in the market for a very long time, which combines the benefits of electric cars with that of hybrids. This system, folks, is really, really smart, enabling a vehicle with essentially zero emissions a range of more than 900 miles. This has resulted in Li Auto being one of the only profitable electric car OEMs on planet Earth, only second to Tesla and BYD. What exactly is this extended range technology and how is it mass produced at scale so profitably? Well, folks, those questions are exactly what we're going to try to address in this video. And well, what better way to start things off than by first understanding what Li Auto does, what kind of products they sell, and where they fit into the scheme of things in the EV race. As you can see, they sell SUVs. And all their SUVs pretty much look identical, except for the new MPV called the Mega. The company is publicly listed in the United States on the ticker symbol LI and reported fiscal second quarter 2024 revenue of $4.36 billion, higher than any homebred United States EV automaker apart from Tesla. What's more is that this was a growth of 10% year over year and the company clocked in earnings per share of 20 cents. Total vehicle deliveries for the quarter came in at 108,000 units, most of it in China. That's right, folks. Even a company that has no name in the West is selling cars in the hundreds of thousands of units per quarter in China. That's just how big this market is. And particularly why Li Auto is so successful and so profitable stems from their hybrid extended range technology, which essentially combines a gasoline generator with an existing inverter, battery pack, and motors to eliminate range anxiety for customers. Yes, that means that Li Auto's vehicles use gasoline to generate electricity whenever the battery is too low state of charge. This is the exact opposite of how Toyota, Honda, Nissan, and basically every other hybrid system on planet Earth works. Where Toyota's system, for example, has a powertrain, a prop shaft, and actual drive axles within the vehicle with a very small 10 kilowatt hour battery powering a small generator, Li Auto system reverses it completely. The car is completely electric. It has a huge 40 kilowatt hour battery underneath it and two electric motors depending on your configuration. However, to increase the range of the battery pack, there is a small 1.5 liter turbocharged engine in the very front that sole purpose is to recharge the battery through a bi-directional inverter. That is pretty smart. Because it enables a battery electric range of 286 kilometers or roughly 180 miles, but a total combined range of over 1400 kilometers or almost 850 miles. And that is really attractive to consumers, particularly in China. What this company has learned is that buyers want no compromises at a certain price point. Consumers who are buying in China want range, they want an attractive weight, price, and ample room in the vehicle. And that is what Li Auto Strategy has really capitalized on. They're selling vehicles that are on average costing more than 40 to 50,000 US dollars, but selling them a technology that doesn't force the users to make a compromise, particularly with charging infrastructure and range anxiety. Hybrids on average get almost twice the full-time range that a comparable gasoline vehicle in the modern era. And many people are still using hybrids as a way to transition to a more zero emissions future 
because right now electric cars, for them at least, don't meet the requirements. And that is something, for example, Toyota has been working on for the past decade. And Li Auto just so happens to be a startup leveraging its connections in China's electrical industry. Because, as it turns out, Li has a very strong relationship with battery pack supplier Cattle. Cattle has just introduced a lithium iron sulfate battery that is safer than lithium ion and charges much faster. And Li Auto is one of the first companies to have guaranteed contracts and registrations for that product. And this one bet is starting to pay off. Because these vehicles reduce maintenance while extending the range of the electric powertrain, meaning consumers have the benefit of electrification like zero noise, low vibration, instant torque, and obviously a much quieter driving experience, but with the added benefit of a highly insulated generator that can increase your range. This vehicle has a 60 liter fuel tank, meaning you still have to fill it up with gasoline if you want the full 1400 kilometers or 800 miles of range. And so, in reality, for the very long term, this isn't a sustainable strategy. And that is right there the Achilles heel of Li Auto. What Li Auto is doing is similar to BYD, where the new energy vehicle term in China includes plug-in hybrids and hybrid vehicles themselves, which obviously have an internal combustion engine. This means if you look at the sales leaderboard, although BYD leads by a big margin, it is obviously not including pure electric cars. And it's the same case with the auto. If you take out the top 10 that have plug-in hybrids, you're left with only five to six OEMs that are making pure batteries, and the competition is a lot tighter. And this reality is starting to eat into the auto's financials, at least as of the latest earnings report, where the company's gross margin declined from 21 to 19 and a half percent even the revenue rose. This resulted in the stock being down almost 20% for that day and is something that's driven primarily by Li Auto's own product lineup, which happens to be cannibalizing its own consumers. Because Li Auto's SUVs all share the same platform, the most expensive and the longest one, the L9, having been the most expensive and the very first to be launched, has seen sales decline ever since the company has been launching more affordable and smaller SUVs, like recently the L6. The interior, the design, and the value proposition for these cars is exactly identical. The only difference is the size, the capacity, and maybe some extreme edge case luxury features. And as it turns out, that's not a best strategy for a company like this at a time when competition is skyrocketing, because L6 is starting to eat into their sales of L9, and obviously cheaper cars have lower margins. Whether or not this is a serious problem for Li Auto, only time will tell, but the reality is the company's found a really smart niche and is selling a really attractive product, which in my opinion in the West would sell like hotcakes. But it's you folks, that's just my take on the situation, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Take care.